here. Right. So just as we observed with uh, one-dimensional waves on a slinky, where at certain frequencies you would have a resonating pattern, you have standing waves with nodes in them, you can see the same thing in two dimensions. However, the vibrations are a lot more complicated. Rather than having the node at just one point, the node is going to be on a line. In the case of a circle, the nodes will make circles within them. So let's demonstrate now with what's known as a cladding plate. I'm going to turn up the, the amplitude of the vibrations here. You'll see right now we're not at a resonant node. So the pattern is kind of random. It's just sort of knocking the sand off the plate. If we bring it up a little bit higher, and I add some more sand, we can now see a well-defined resonant mode. The node is defined by where the sand is appearing, making a nice circular pattern. We can continue this. We can find other resonant frequencies that will give other patterns. And you'll notice it'll get louder as we close in on the resonance. 360, we have a two ring resonant pattern. A three ring pattern at 890. Three rings again, but different location at 1,710 hertz. And we'll do one more. Lovely four ring pattern at 2810 hertz.